you want me to clean each one of these? Yes, please. And I just want to, uh, while the tape wasn't running, uh, Jake, sometimes the top sirloin here uh -huh. on the smaller animals is just so small that we can't turn it into a medallion. In case you ever get, for most of the animals going forward, to make it here, it's going to be enough. Skinner, his Denver legs would go really freaking fast. <laughs> yeah, I think it's about 20 grand for one, but really? never uh, justify it. You can also skin bellies with it, pork bellies. Uh, yeah, that would. Uh... So um, I just took the um, the tri tip and the rest of it off the peel knuckle here. Um, this is all grind. It doesn't really. There's a lot of silver skin and any and stuff running in through uh, through the the muscles and the protein, so it doesn't really make a good portion. Mm -hmm. So that goes to grind, and then we clean this, uh, um, put it aside for. And you know, of course, this is for a Denver leg, but for medallions, we've been doing this exact same thing, mm -hmm. except portioning these into uh, four ounce portions. Gotcha. There might be something you want to do on, on the islands with how much volume you guys are going to be doing. Uh, it'll pay for itself pretty good. Cool. So for a gender leg, you take all these pieces and you put them back together. Um, nice. You basically you don't have to put it back, like assemble it like a leg, but you just yeah. put them all together and they get a uh, vacuum sealed just like that. And for medallions, you know, they just get cut. No shit. Yeah. Four ounces. Most of our food service clients would rather have a, a tender leg, but our retail customers would rather have a medallion. All right. 